Oh, I'm making marks on it. You'll see why in a minute. And I'll grind a flat on here so when it's on there, it has something to grab onto rather than a piece of radius. And if the shaft would spin, it would just spin around the shaft. Now, when I put the flats on here, if the shaft would spin a little, it would get stuck trying to come off the flat and would even get tighter. Whenever you have a set screw, you always put a flat mark. Can you see it? Just seal installation. You gotta use a little bit of lube. Rubber likes to stick pretty bad on metal. See, there's two different threads in here. I don't know if you guys know that. One is British and one is standard American. All right, see, this is the British. Let's try that one. Okay, that's a good one. Thread sealer. This is the only thing that works. Don't take nothing for granted. Fit everything before you try to put anything together. Just so the pin don't come out. This is so the rubber can slide in there. That's what the lube is for. Because the seal's coated in rubber. Okay, what's going on here? I don't like this. What you're seeing is this. That's what's in there right now. So that won't seal, it'll leak. So we'll pull it up and replant it and we'll be good to go. See how it's off of it? There we go. Back in business. See the gap under it? So, now, see when that's all the way down on the table? Now the seal's completely loaded. If you don't do that, as soon as they turn it on, it leaks immediately. And there we have two 150s. 